The driver featured in today's video is the most expensive driver ever tested on this channel. I am almost scared to hit what is effectively a thousand dollar driver. And there is of course the idea that a driver costing that much is not going to be accessible for many golfers. So before we go any further, one question needs answering. Why would we feature it on this channel? Well, quite simply, if you're like me, you're going to want to know what makes this driver twice as much as many of the rest of them that are out there right now. This club is, of course, from Japanese premium brand Zexio, and we've already tested Zexio 10 and Zexio 12 models of driver in the last few months on this channel, and I've got to admit, I was far more impressed than I expected to be. But this is, of course, no ordinary Zexio product. This is their flagship model, and it's known as Zexio Prime. And there is a full lineup of irons, fairway woods, hybrids. And of course, today we're going to feature top of the tree, the thousand dollar driver. Now, before we go any further, let's go back to the visuals. Just how does this club look in your opinion? I've read from Zexio that it is basically the gold standard of luxury performance and design. Well, for me personally, I'd liken it to a piece of jewelry and it's almost too exotic for the muddy fairways of the UK. I'm almost too scared to hit this thing. Now, once again, a key element to this Zexio product is the quality and uh, build of the shaft itself it's very much a premium shaft in their lineup right throughout the whole set to be honest with you and it's extremely light it's extremely different and this counterbalance system that they incorporate into their shafts can be found in all the Zexio product range. This one I'm using today is 36 grams in weight. It's a regular flex, but the big surprise is it feels nothing like that in terms of its weight and nothing like that in terms of its flex. Now that is a super solid ball. It's extremely long and extremely different in terms of, like I said, the flex and the weight because I swung that club exactly as I would do normally and that would be around 93, 94, maybe 95 mile an hour out here on the course. That club head speed would not suggest that I could use this kind of shaft, but it does and that counterbalance system really does help me with tempo and with distance and the overall thing baffles me completely but either way i can't deny that this super lightweight system in these xeo products really does work so we've determined that the shaft plays a major part in what makes this a thousand pound driver i would also suggest that the way this thing is put together in terms of the club head also plays a major part in terms of the overall cost but the other thing in terms of the technology within the Zexio product lineup is this active wing this sort of airflow technology which helps you in theory square up that uh, driver head at address now to me it's almost a bit of a far-fetched story one that is difficult to believe but in all the Zexio reviews that we've done so far it really does suggest that the theory does actually work. But in all the Zexio products, we've seen premium shafts and we've seen pretty much premium heads and they also cost a fair few quid. We've also got active wing technology in all those driver heads as well. So the question still remains, why is this driver a thousand dollars? Well, before I reveal what I think you're actually paying a thousand dollars for, I want to ask you the question. I know I've got a, an audience out there that is not adverse to spending money on products when it matters, when you can see some visible difference in terms of performance. But my question is to you right now, how many of you out there are going to spend a thousand dollars on a driver? I'd be really interested to know. So uh, in that comment section below, I just want a simple yes or no, that'll do. Let's see if we can get one back up the fairway and leave a wedge in on this par five at Carden. One thing I've just noticed and just to back up this active wing and the counterbalance system is just have a look at this club face and just how many times I have found the center of this club face 
and I haven't found the heel nor the toe to be quite honest with you so either my game is improving dramatically or something is working in terms of this system but either way that's an incredibly good pattern in terms of finding the center of the club face which again furthermore shocks me now as you'd expect with a thousand dollar driver you get a fairly nice head cover to say the least it's uh, the whole thing is premium there's no doubt about it but like i said that price is premium as well but i've reviewed this thing quite extensively i came here for a couple of rounds a few days ago and had this driver in play and what you'll see is i can't remember maybe seven eight drives and each one of them is straight each one of them is fairly long to be honest with you for again sort of relative to my club head speed distance carried is every bit and a bit more than i would expect from the very best that i've tried so there's no doubt about it for me that this thing works my issue is obviously and your issue would be the same is how do they get it to a thousand dollars when zexio 12 zexio 10 sort of performed equally as well in my opinion and i was equally as baffled by how this lightweight system works and don't ask me to answer that question because i've got nothing that can actually quantify it all i would say to you is don't be put off by the light weight of this shaft because i think far more men's golfers would be far better trying this kind of thing out don't dismiss it at all because like i said it's nothing like what you'd expect all them shots you see me hit you'll notice my swing has stayed fairly consistent in terms of uh, club head speed and it hasn't varied i haven't tried to slow down uh, compared to my normal driver which would be a 55 gram stiff shaft and it has remained incredibly stable and that's why for me the counterbalance system this active wing system whatever it is that makes this thing work it just does so is this driver worth a thousand dollars i would say absolutely not i ain't paying a thousand dollars for any golf club i'm afraid but is it worth a thousand dollars well i think it depends what it is that you want to put in your bag this like i said is exotic it's a piece of jewelry it's far more kind of bling than i have ever seen in terms of a golf club before it's designed predominantly for the japanese market and i can't pretend to know or understand what the japanese market looks like what they're kind of after but this is an expensive piece of kit it looks like an expensive piece of kit but for me I can get the same performance out of Zexio 12, which is really, really good. So it's an exceptionally good driver, but it's a price point that isn't necessarily for me, but might be for you. And on this channel, we never dismiss product based on its price. We give everyone a fair crack of the whip. I'm going to hit one more drive. I'm going to see if we can finish off with something that is uh, as good as what I was doing just a few days ago. Well, that's as good as I've got. That's carried that bunker by a fair old way. And like I said, I can't hit any better. I've never hit a driver more consistently or further than I have any of the Zexio drivers, to be quite honest with you. So I'll leave it there. All I would say is maybe not in your budget, but certainly some of them are. I would give them a go. Don't dismiss the Zexio range of products. They are super, super good. That's me done. Thanks for watching. Also a quick thank you for everybody who has joined in our other channel which is Testing the Tips. Make sure you hop on over there and take a look and subscribe to me, Testing Tips from fellow golf YouTubers. It's uh, flying right now and I'd urge you to be a part of it as well. Right, I'm all done. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow night.